We know there are many choices in Internet radio and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk. We are on now. Hello, America and other surrounding countries. This is Sunday, May. Hi, Mom. May 11th. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Hey, Mom, if you're listening, you should be listening. I say bad words on here. And what's up, Killer? Happy Mother's Day, Killer, to my sister. Now, we're going to start off today with this week's show. We got a little news. Dr. Dre in the news again, as usual. Not for detox, though. Heard he got paid. (laughs) Not for detox, though. We got a little sports. And I think we got the double XL freshman class this year. There's a few, there's a few hitters up there. There's a few hitters and maybe a few duds, but we're gonna go through them all. So we got an interesting show today. I think we're gonna leave off with a little news. Let's talk about Dre, guys. Let's talk about Dre Day. Is it still Easy Pay Day? No, it's not Easy. Is that Easy Pay Day no more? No, I bet Easy is turned over and it's great right now. It's not Shug Pay Day. It's not. Easy? It's not none of they Pay Day oh, no easy. more. It's Jimmy Pay Day. Exactly. <laughs> but they say in the deal that. The deal is worth three point two billion with Apple. Is it official? It's not no. official yet. Tyrese announced it early. That's what niggas do. Tyrese the singer? Black Tyrese tie? is what is the money, man. Black tie? <laughs> Black tie. Black tie. He announced it all early. Like, yeah, I'm a boy a billionaire. He's, like, he's, whoa, he's, whoa, he's whoa. Money, man. And you see how Drake. You want some publicity? They all in they doing them selfies. selfies. Look at me. <laughs> With the billionaire, beat song. billionaire, <laughs> billionaire. That's the boy though. That's the boy though, man. Compton watch, stick together. I got one question though. Yes, Where that man. video at now? I don't know. It's probably deleted. It's, probably deleted. it's but what, going? But what I want to know is, is it official? No. no it's not official. No, not official. They said Dress Dress to make about a hundred million. That's still a lot, though. That's still That's a lot. Still it's a not lot. a billion, but okay. still a lot. But who get their check first? Good question. I you think know Jimmy. what? It's who like takes this. The, who take the <laughs> check? On Jimmy. Who take the check to the bank first and then write the check out to Dre? What you, Jimmy? Think? what you think, Lee? Me personally, I think Jimmy and Dre, they both own the equal share of beats. So, they both getting broke off at the same time. Basically, they said that 50, it's going gonna, it's gonna to split three ways. Jimmy, Dre, and the other, the other investors. But Jimmy and Dre, supposedly, they're looking at executive positions at Apple after all of this is done. So, Jimmy Iovine, his contract is up with Interscope at the end of the year. And they're saying... He's about to be a little creative assistant to Apple. He's looking for a position. This disappoints me as an Apple fan. Why? Why? Because I thought the I thought the Apple headphones were superior to the Beats headphones. One, the Apple phones I, Apple phones are good for it's one thing. Brand. Keep, it brand. Keep it it's earwax. Brand. That's a good brand. Brand. Keep it earwax. Keep it earwax. Little shit to this. Yeah, I can't like the All in the brand. <laughs> My Apple phone earphones had what in them? Earwax. It's I don't like those. It's too loud too, bro. Exactly. It's turn, too damn loud. Turn them down. Uh, and this, what, what, what kills me, I mean, the Beats are a good headphone. My too. headphones It's too a fashion statement too. But why are you walking around with studio headphones on outside? Like, come on. Like, I hate seeing people driving with them shits on. What? Are you serious, bro? Are you serious? You see somebody kill driving? Me and my kids all the time. All the time. All the time. I will. I will I, <laughs> sometimes when the your uh, CD player don't work, the radio don't work. <laughs> Do you know the shit that fucked me up the most though? Guess how much it costs to make Beats headphones? What? Fourteen dollars. Damn. In what country? I don't know what country they make them in, <laughs> but it's them. damn sure not in America. Fourteen dollars, and I think the cheapest ones are what three, three hundred and fifty dollars. No, they got no, the buzz. They like, they like the, one the buzz. That's a hundred. Yeah, like a hundred. Hundred fifty. You gonna spend a hundred? But just think 100. of that. How much profit are they seeing for every headphone sold? They said they see a billion dollar in revenue Mass at the end of the year for sales. A billion dollars. So all profit. Yeah. What's better so than so they gonna recoup from the deal in less than a year? Less and within a year or two. But then five years. They look at recoup? it. If they see three billion, if they see a billion dollar in sales a year, three point two billion dollars, a little over three years, they're about to make that money back. Plus, they had a streaming service. So yeah. whatever revenue they have from that, that's even more. If I was only the chairman of the board, yeah, I'd have, I'd have, man, I'd have sold out. I ain't gonna lie. 
What you mean I, to sold I, out? I, I, mean, I, I sold out. I'd have sold out as a man. I'd have did something crazy. I was sold out. Clarence is, Thomas. I'd probably got a. Oh, <laughs> I got a. Oh. <laughs> Clarence Thomas didn't. He didn't sell out because he, he never bought in. He never bought in. He didn't buy into this. He never sell out. He didn't I'd buy in. I'd have probably did some Chris Brown things or something. I don't know. Speaking of Chris Brown, I want uh, I want to bring this brother up, man. You know, I I kind of I didn't I, I liked it Chris Brown from the beginning. You know what I mean? He had some hits. My niece. Whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, I, I put whoa. that out. I put that on. Chris Brown had hits in the beginning. He really did. Did you listen to? My niece put me on to him. It was back. You know. I had to listen to what okay. she had to listen to going okay. taking her to school back and forth. Okay, on, I, get, I, I give you that. I give you that. All right, so boom. That. Why not? Okay, so boom. Then he he step it up a notch. He get Rihanna, black her eye, bust her lip up. Ike Turner. I'm just saying. He he, he tripping. Kicked her out the Lambo. He tripping right. Before oh, the Grammys. Before the Grammys. That was after. After Grammys. Fuck after. the Grammys. I don't want to go. I want to go. I want to go. This bitch up. You know, I'm gonna skirt off. Do some snoring lines up in the hills in Hollywood, right? So boom. I don't forgive him for that, right? So boom, he you know he do a little transition after that shit, you know he do his little. He fake they, cry on BT. Well, it, it worked for me. It worked for me. I, I was sold on it, right? <laughs> so after that, right, he had a little chance for me, right? So then he pulled this shit, man. I heard he threw something at his mama. Oh, he rehab. threw a, he threw a brick at his mama car through her window and rehab. He rehabbed. threw a brick for what? He's hey, up? you get angry sometimes. You got to react. <laughs> I'm, 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 we don't I'm, know I'm what life is like for little Chris in Virginia before. <laughs> But my, well, run it. but my question is, what did Chris Brown, what is he in rehab for? Don't Anger. say it. Anger? Anger? Anger. Is rehab for that? Not narcotics? Yeah. Oh, trust me. Oh. It? <laughs> no, he got a card. He got a card for uh, narcotics. His um, marijuana. That ain't narcotics. It's not. Nah. Take, anyway, take back, to, back to Chris Brown. He got a card for it, narcotics. Yeah, really? yeah, anyway, back to Chris Brown. He is. Oh, he, he locked, locked up, he locked yeah, up he right locked, now. And he got more time. I heard he's in PC, though. He or has to be in prison. Where you think he at? He's a celebrity. No, but they said on the news that in Virginia he was in general yeah. population. I don't know if that's believable or was he in a different general <laughs> population. Because I couldn't see Chris Brown doing run it on a tier. Like, come on, dog. Exactly. Run that. Run that. Run them soups. Niggas going to be having them singing and everything. <laughs> Man, they going to have top quality spaghetti with the Slim Jims. He going to sing everybody hits. Oh, it's horrible for us. He going to be on the phone singing Baby Mama's. Love songs on Mother's Day. Fuck he, 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 right he gonna now. be making phone calls for other inmates. Nigga, run that. Run that. I Sing. Need, I need that. Nigga, get off the phone. Call I Dev, need that. Call Dev Jam. I want to be on too. <laughs> I need a three-way right now. <sighs> Next news. Next news. We have the couple in Missouri. What they do? What did they... I don't know. I don't see that being legal, but they got 15 years for growing 12 plants in their home. In and Missouri? We, in Missouri. Yep. But, but guess the cold part about it was. 12 plants of what? The maintenance Opium? man... No, of marijuana. Why 12 years? 15 years. That's the same. You get that same time in Missouri for murder. Damn. But the maintenance man saw it, an interesting piece of equipment, and he told the landlord. Landlord, and then pressed that, that button in three numbers. And they came. <laughs> uh, murder is 15 years? In Missouri. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. They don't play in certain states. They don't play. But in the state of Texas, you go to jail for a year or two for a joint. A joint, not even a joint, a piece of weed. Nigga. It's this beautiful thing in in our great country called the war on drugs. Dang so, drug, brother. Oh, hey. <laughs> a lot of people see it as drugs. <laughs> Why? Hey, it's a gateway drug. That's what weed is. Man, gateway first, you, what? first you smoke weed, then you sniff coke, and then all of a sudden, I ain't never sniffed you coke sniffing shit life. in the back of a room somewhere. In no. the back of a room. Only place only, I'm not racist, but that's only for white kids. Marijuana has only opened the doors to me for stuff like Taco Bell and like CVS Candy Eye. Other than that, I didn't experiment past that. Oh, and this random naps. I'm I'm good with random naps. Yeah, you know you. I used to hate naps when I was a little kid. Now I, I love, love them naps. for some reason. Naps like the best yeah. Ain't none like ain't none like having a nap and waking up with something in see the refrigerator. See now, th- that's why that's why we I can't don't like t- waking up from a nap and have to go get some food. Man, that shit's horrible, brother. That's horrible. Now that's cool that we talk about the Missouri couple going to jail about weed. We said talking about yeah. the joys of weed now. They should have been, been growing weed in the state caught. of Missouri. No fuck how they got caught. They stupid. <laughs> What's wrong with you? The law is this: you shouldn't be doing it. Don't do it. State of California. You can come out with venture with us. Come to California. Just uproot. Like death row. Speak. Try to maintenance man station on you. Speaking of California. Police all in your business. Come to California. Come to California. <laughs> Speaking of California. Y'all hear about Dad Key? 
Whoa, what he, happened with Don King? The nigga back, man. He back. He got the uh the number one heavyweight fighter. Are you talking Don about Stiver? Yeah, he got it. What? Him. Yeah, King is back, it's like, the, it's like 86 to get all over again. Boxing bed. Serious? He ain't even cut it. Shit ain't even receded. It's <laughs> a hairpiece. Oh, it's not a hairpiece. That's his hair. Nah, no, that shit is natural. That's his that's hair, hair brother. No, nah, that's his hair. Don't that hate on the king. Crown. Don't hate on the king, brother. Man. Don't hate on the king. He brought you some of the greatest fighters. He robbed most of them, too. He, hey, exactly. I don't agree with his tactics. I don't agree with his tactics. <laughs> I'm just saying, without him, he got him in the building. Hey, what's, the, what's that dude name with the bow tie? With, he used to wear the bow tie to promoter. Brother Muhammad. Nah, not he looked like I think it was like Butch Steel or some shit like that. Butch Steel. Butch Steel. That, that's a, that's not like a name like a Karate Joe or something. Nah, he, was like a, he was like a nigga from Butch Detroit, Steel. DC. Butch Steel. Yeah, he was a real cutthroat ass nigga. You can tell he got he probably got like a hard face. Like yeah, mm-hmm. he, but then, what's your name? Butch Steel. <laughs> I'll put it like this: Don King been robbing people since Drillin Manila. That was the person that organized oh, it. That's right. And ripped promoter. Ali off. Every, so he's been in this in decades. Yeah, but decades. every promoter robs their fighters, man. It's not even robbing their fighters. It's just their management. They don't know how to negotiate. No, Don King, Don King robbed them people. I mean, what the, Tyson can't understand. You know, he can't understand shit. You, know, you can't talk. That ain't, that ain't Tyson's fault. Nah, man, hey. It's Tyson's fault, man. All I know, <laughs> I saw that, that Tyson documentary when he was talking oh. about whipping Don King ass yeah. outside the he Beverly did, Hills didn't Hotel. He? Didn't yeah. He? I said it. My Yo. brother. My brother. Yeah. No more brother. We're supposed to oh, be brothers. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> but Don King had some trouble with the law early on in his career, though. He caught allegedly. One, that was a manslaughter. He was allegedly. He went to jail for that. I manslaughter. Same he thing. He killed somebody with some gators. I don't think they had gators back then. Kill somebody by shit, death of gator. Shit, you mean gators been around? Gators been around for how long? Since, since pimping, since pimping, since pimping. That's a long time. That's a long time. That's that's exactly. Long time. I mean, that's in slavery. I think they had a nigga slay, slay a gator. <laughs> I really do. I really do. I really do. I really Put some slay. shoes. Yeah, I think they had a nigga slay a gator one time. Oh, yeah, man. Huh? But what else? Well, else we, I think we can, get into, we can get into the freshman class now. We, oh. 13, we 13 in an hour. You don't play and no look, hits? Huh? You don't play no hits? We're playing right now. Isaiah What's Rashad. Good? My pick for top of the class. Turn this shit up a little bit. I ain't never really listen. <laughs> Turn this shit up a little bit. <laughs> Okay. He don't do it for me, bro. Really. Chattanooga, Tennessee. One of the first cats from that region. <laughs> from See? where? Chattanooga, Tennessee. <laughs> Shat Town. Not Nutbush. Chattanooga. Chattanooga, <laughs> Tennessee. But the cold, interesting fact is, Tennessee. TD, TD has four freshman covers for the past four years. They ran it. Name them. The first one was J Rock. Then, when Ken, then Kendrick. Out. Shout out to J Rock. And then, Ken Kendrick. then Schoolboy Q and Ab Soul share one. <laughs> and now it's there with Shot. thrown in New York City. Yeah, Damn, they're running that. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. Yep. yep. Shout out to Top Dog. I fuck they doing it. I was, I was, was that the, the Clivia Sylvia demo? Sylvia demo. Sylvia demo. He hey, had a my girl, my girl and my, my son like that shit. Real talk, man. They the like story behind shit. the title, he had a Civic and he named her Sylvia. Sylvia. That was the name of his bucket when he was going around hitting up shows and shit. Sylvia. Damn, Sylvia. A nigga from Chattanooga. Alright. Who else on this motherfucker? Uh, we got the we got Shy Racks on there. Well, you have Chicago and Shy Rack on there. You got Lil Bibby. Bang bang. And well Lil Bibby, he kinda like He's just getting off in there. He just does getting off. He explain. got that free crack mixtape. Explain. Explain yeah. Lil Bibby. Yeah, you explain Lil Bibby, G. <laughs> Lil Bibby <laughs> is I don't know, I guess he's the most lyrical drill artist, I guess. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was lyri- that's an oxymoron. Lyrically, lyrical drill. What? He's the most lyrical drill. You can understand what he's saying. Yeah, you know what's word you know play what? sometimes. No, that's why he wins because you understand what he says. So yes. Chief Keef is yes. uh, no, bang 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 bang. And, uh, like, you, gotta, you, gotta, you can't even see his face half the time. You gotta turn the lights off. I still off. don't know what Chief Keef look like. You gotta no. turn the lights <laughs> off and close your <laughs> eyes to understand what Chief's saying. If I close it my sense. if I listen to it Chief Keef and close my eyes, I think of Candyman. That's how scary the little, the little nigga is. Yeah, he's close to my thing. That's man. Funny, man. And I know he got lotion. That he can afford lotion. That nigga, he got St. Helen Jury on his there. neck. I mean, I know that nigga got speaking, lotion. Speaking of Chief Keith, also on the list is Lil Dirt. They from the same little area. Shout out to Lil, Lil Dirt. Dirt. Else. I fucks with Lil Dirt. I'm good. You don't, he, um, don't, he don't like the drill music at all. He, he got some Lil Dirt. Play some Lil Dirt. We'll play some Lil Dirt in a second. Lil Dirt. I fucks with Lil Dirt. I'm good. Oh, drill, 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 drill. This is the thing I want to point out. A couple of years ago, we was laughing at niggas that was using auto tune shit. 
Now the yeah. hardest niggas in the rap game. <laughs> They the most sing songy auto tune motherfuckers you will ever hear in your life. I don't bump you. And they overcompensate <laughs> that shit by being extra thugged out. Hey, but that's always been that way. You ever since like the eighties, you used to always see like the hardest gang member ass niggas, man, pulling up, bumping what? R and B. Oh shit, R and B. You be like, damn, homie, you bump that shit. Like, okay, what's up, big homie? And then you keep it pushing. You ain't about to pull his car, like, nigga. Why you pumping that weak shit? Why you listen to Bobby Brown? They this why you listen to Johnny Gill? <laughs> was Roger and Zap, when, was Roger and Zap talking about shooting niggas and slapping bitches? No, they kept it. Thank they kept you. It. They did. No, we can't verify that. Why can't we? Oh no. <laughs> I just wanted to be an asshole in this, this situation. Computer Love had nothing to do with computer? smacking. Computer Love was a shit. I think you was made off your Computer Love probably. I don't think so. Was that what's Computer Love made in the eighties? Yeah, you eighties baby? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Only took a moment. Only took a moment. Only took a moment. It's a cheap one. So it takes the magical moments that are made. That's horrible, man. That's that's horrible. So um, what happened to Tyler the Creator? What hasn't happened to him? He got his own show, Loiter Squad, on he there. Traveling the world. He yeah. still getting money? Oh, back to yeah. uh, oh, yeah. the list. Back, back yeah, back to the list. Uh, Good job, niggas. Yeah, niggas got off. Again. Chance the rapper. I haven't heard too many Chance feel, the rapper. I haven't heard my dad and my little brother crazy about Chance the rapper. Chance the rapper had one of the best albums that came out last year, Point Blank. For real? For now, real, now, 100% across the board. Now what threw me off was on a song right. with the overalls. He like his name could be Buck. He had the overalls on. Like, why your overalls on? Ain't nothing against Chicago fashion, niggas. Fashion they trend. country as shit. What? See. Yeah. Somebody took a yeah. face. <laughs> hey. Chicago cats is country as <laughs> shit. Nah. <laughs> Do y'all call people Bamas in Chicago? No. Nope. Nah. Different places. You know there's an Alabama, there's a Louisiana, there's a, there's a Mississippi. This is different country. Geo I've heard that shit up real quick. <laughs> yeah, what you mean? I've, I've heard the about. term Bama used by cats from Chicago. They country as shit. So seeing a Chicago dude with overalls on, we talking about Alabama. The we talking about not Bama the state man. Bama is slang. So no, I country. know, I know. But what you, you ta- saying? Like what, what's, what's Chicago person calls somebody country using nah, Bama? I always, I always heard the nigga say Joe. I never Joe. heard that. Joe, Joe, you say Joe. You say Joe too. You say Lord. You say. G, you say, <laughs> no, no. Jill became your ghetto tour guy. Yeah, right? real quick. Don't like, I up. never heard nobody say Bama in my life from Chicago. I heard New York people say Bama, and that's talking to everybody that's not from New York. Woo. Don't go over there on Sunday. I never Sunday. heard so, anybody so, say Drill over there, son. Drill over there, son. Drill music, nigga. Hey, no one was talking about a little Dirk in the background, too, nigga. I see it starting to come out of it. It's that Shot Town. Man. <laughs> Who else on the list, man? Wait, no, they didn't turn up like that one. Your boy, Troy Ave, the little 50. You know what I'm saying? I've been being, uh, uh, nah, nah. I stopped liking my tr- backpack. Okay, this is why I like Lil Troy. I don't like him now. But this is why I was sold on Lil Troy. Why because, call him Lil Troy, boy? I mean, Troy. Lil Troy is going to be a baller. Yeah, yeah, I know, my bad. Shout out to Lil Troy, though. But Troy, I, bro. <laughs> Troy, I. He had, like, the image. Troy. He had, like, the home video footage on YouTube. He had it all, man. So I was like, man, he must be really doing what he's talking about, right? Then he, uh, I don't know, man. He started going on what, uh, radio stations and um, doing videos, and um, he's still talking about the same thing. He's still doing videos with like rappers now. And now they doing things together. I don't support that. I don't support that. You need to elevate your standards, man. Elevate your rapping. Biggie was. That's why I like Biggie. Biggie, the hardest lyric Biggie came out with on the first album. Shout out to all the people that told me I never was a mountain man. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the people who called the police over here that was hustling in front of when I was trying to make some money to feed my daughter, right? Yeah. That was the realest shit Biggie said. On the second album, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Hypnotize and shit like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, some of the talk, progression. Going, going, back, back to Cali. He ain't talking about no selling dope, robbing the train, yep. all that other stuff. Ten Crack Commandments. He, that, that was just an education. Got a story to tell? Yeah. He was talking about listen, kidnapping listen. niggas' kids and fucking them in the ass listen, and shit. He, he ain't saying that. He talking Must about be. he <laughs> kicked down the door away with a four four. Are you not heard the no more. That was that was competition. That was him. Should have run with them niggas coming no more. That was competition between him and Nazir. You know what I mean? But this is what I'm saying though. He wasn't glorifying what he was glorifying in his first album from the second album. He showed you progression. Yeah. Glory now, why Troy Ave got to still have bricks in his backpack? And you so-called millionaire, you so-called the next tax bracket. Why? 
I don't understand. Look at the cast that's highlighted in New York rap right now. A lot of them are simple. It's like born. Dizza. I'm, I'm, born, I'm not homie. a Dizza fan. If you ain't Frenchy, I ain't fucking with you. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I fuck with Frenchy. I'll, I fuck with Frenchy, Fr- too. Frenchy be on the hook. I'll be uh, I'm turned up. <laughs> it's turned up. I fuck with Chink's Drug, too. I think Chink's, Chink's, I fuck with Chink's. I think Chink's Drug should have made the list. No. Over Lil Durk. They, 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 both from Coke Boys. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Yeah, shout out to Lil Durk. Shout out to Lil Durk, too. <laughs> but Chink should have made it. Oh, you want to know she what? Made it. She should have made it, but a lot of them other weird-looking niggas on the list, I don't know why they on there, man. What's With different this year? They got two R&B niggas on there. Two of them. Dope. Ty Dolla Sign. And August one? Alcina. I like August Alcina because he, 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 he was hard as shit on 106 and Park. Yeah, when she asked me that question, it was like, what do you think about Trey Song? I, like, I told you. Don't, before, don't, don't be asking me that. that shit. He went off on her. I fucks with that. You but, see, I'm a big Ty Dolla Sign, big Ty Dolla Dolla Sign wait, fan. Wait, what happened with real Trey songs? You uh, late? I just brushed over that. You late? I don't know what the fuck happened. R and B niggas don't like each other. I guess they, one lazy. They ain't talking about it. Lip gloss. Now it came out what what, what happened. R and B niggas gonna what argue happened? about? They sing. It was some shit over a show, and August felt a certain way, and over a bit. words were exchanged, oh, and yeah. instead of performing, he, he he walked left. out. He bounced. Oh, he left. He, he said, out. "Fuck this." So supposedly there were words saying because he's opening up at Summer Jam this year. Mm-hmm. So is Trey was like, I got my to... people there. Uh, it, is oh, it, is. it is what it is. R&B R&B niggas is about Virginia. Virginia turned up. Tell me. Trey, oh. Song, oh, Trey Song's from Virginia. Is August too? Nah, he's oh, from no. New Orleans. Chris Brown. No, Chris Brown Trey. Nigga, Trey Song ain't turned up. He said Trey Song's <laughs> are turned <laughs> up. Just he man. Man. Give a fuck about so, no Trey Song. I think we're we going to take a little break right now. For sure, man. Y'all getting heated. It's kind of cold in here. I'm getting kind of sick. I'm about to put my beanie on. We'll take a little break. I'm a young nigga. I'm just chasing me some dollars. You want to be the president? You got to meet the bank, bro. Hella bank rolls. I love bank rolls. Ain't yours. Spin it back to so much cash. Hello, I'm Joel Ramirez. And I'm Lolita Robinson Coppage, and welcome to Joy in My House on LATalkLive.com. Inspirational radio with a touch of recovery. A reality show where nothing is left unsaid and no one is insignificant who says it. Exclusively on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio R&B or watch us on Ustream TV. Reality radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live and we are more than just talk. Hi, I'm Ro Williams, and I would like to invite you to join GospelRhythms.com every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our show, GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio. Join us as we celebrate Christians around the world in all genres of entertainment, as well as highlight interest stories on men and women who are making a difference and impacting their community. So don't forget to tune in to GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio exclusively on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes under R&B or watch us live on Ustream TV. We are reality radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is GospelRhythms.com Talk Live Radio on LATalkLive.com. We're more than just talk. We're heaven's party here on earth. What's up, world? This is Nicholas Cage inviting you to join us every Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific time for New Rules Radio. Join us as we lend our social satire to the week's leading topics, including music, fashion, and politics. So don't forget to tune in to New Rules Radio, 7 p.m. Pacific time, exclusively on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio, R&B, Radio Flag, TuneIn Radio, Live 365, AHA Radio, TiVo Radio, and Apple TV Radio. Or just watch and listen directly at LATalkLive.com. Reality radio handcrafted for your listening and viewing pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. Treat 
Yeah. Oh, I heard you, so let's be back on. And we're back after break. Boy, baby. It is dark. still free. Dark. So, the next topic, we're going to go over to my man with the beard, Lee. Yo, we still talking about the, the good old freshman class. Top 10. And there's one thing missing. There's not a single. A whole lot missing. Exactly. <laughs> there's there's not a single female on that list. And especially with the inclusion of R&B cast this year, mm-hmm. I think it's ridiculous. It makes no sense. Like, there's a lot of up-and-coming female MCs that's doing a lot of good music. But they're not talking about the one thing that gets you noticed in hip-hop as a woman. Working. Exactly. They not talking about they pussy and they not talking about how fat they ass is. Oh damn! Good thing we ain't being censored. Exactly. But we not. But good thing. <laughs> good thing. Just make sure we not. I look around like, oh, what did he just say? Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. But yeah, just to name a couple of MCs off the top that that could have been on the list. We have Snow the Product. She's from Dago, but she's out of Texas. Hold on. I mean, I mean, interrupt y'all. But earlier you said that I might have been made off of. Computer love. Yes. My my father just texted me and said you were wrong. I was made off doing Marvin Gaye. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to pops right now. <laughs> Perverted ass. <laughs> uh, uh, he still remember. Oh, I'm man. surprised he still remember. But go back. Go ahead, Lee. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's hey. Day. Hey. <laughs> Shitting. <laughs> yeah. Snow. We was talking about snow. Yeah, we was on. talking about snow. Shit. XXL had a little. Little fucking van fan vote. Snow won the fan vote, but guess who guess who wasn't included? Who? Snow the product. Uh, she wasn't included. I never heard of music before though. Me so either. I can't really judge on her. She basically just toured the country with Tech Nine and all of them, so hey. Oh, Shout out to Tech Nine business mindset, but I'm not a fan. That music is He's been for hustling me. for a long time, can't hey, knock the hustle. Hey at all. Is that nigga weird. That dude yeah, would weird. tour the country hey. 300 days out the year and stack up that tour money. That nigga weird. Hey, you got that loot. You ain't gotta like him. <laughs> you ain't gotta but you gotta pay him though. That nigga paint his face. Okay, back with yeah. what you were saying. That nigga weird. Back with what you were saying. It was weird though. So shit. Aside from Snow the product, we got Rhapsody. She's out of North Carolina. She's attached to the whole jam little I, record. I, I don't get it. I don't get it with Rhapsody. Like I heard the I heard the um. The mixtape she came out with. She has two separate tapes. The last one. What was the last one? Um, her on the back on the rim. She got game. She got game. I'm a big fan of that shit. <laughs> you talking about like trying to get the content? I'm a big wasn't fan really of that shit. <laughs> get to the what point. What you say about that shit, <laughs> Get to the What's point. What's the producer name? Uh, Ninth Wonder. Ninth Wonder. Yeah, he was hyping that for. Wow. Ninth hard. Ninth. I don't hard. know about now, but Ninth when he was a little brother and all that shit, he was hard. The main dude that's doing the production over there right now is Crisis. Oh, so, Crisis over there? Yeah, Jambler? Crisis. Oh. Yeah, Crisis is the over there. XL, okay, the okay, double. back. So we got Rhapsody. We also have female MC, one of the most beautiful women in the world to me. Who? I'm Nitty Scott MC. The Who? New York chick. Yeah, out of Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, my she God. Like, Man. Huh, PYT, pretty pretty young thing. <laughs> Dude. What's her um, name? He ordered, too. <laughs> Nitty Scott Nitty MC. Scott. You can follow her on Look Instagram. Just order. type in Nitty Scott MC. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa. This is a new hey, rules radio. Hey, give me Instagram this shut up. Yeah, this hey, is easily. That right. motherfucker bad. The thirst That's why. Continues. The thirst continues. Hey, okay. I am thirsty over her. But, <laughs> Nitty what? Aside from being fine, she her can... music is ridiculous. It's good. <laughs> she can actually flow. Nitty Scott MC can flow. Did you hear her before you see her? Oh, before yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I believe okay. you. I read an article about her, and then I got curious. I and then I saw that. what she looked like. Shit. You said shit. I was just icing on <laughs> Fuck that. But there was a lack of two in the freshman class, the lack of the West Coast. Who do we have on there? Yeah. Todd Dollar Sign. That was it. He's a singer. He's an R&B singer. You I see, mean, but he made some hits, though. Yeah, he makes hits. That's yeah. the thing with, with West Coast music right now. Beige. Hey, shit. I like light skinned women, so colorist. shit. Why are you colorist? Look, colorist, you beige. You got him a colorist. Sure. sure. Look at my history, so shit. Beige. You you personally know me. <laughs> Look at this <laughs> late night <laughs> computer <laughs> history. <laughs> so <laughs> shit. Hey. Well, okay, but who are you talking Ty Valla? Yeah, he's the only one from the West Coast on there. So I'm going to guess who him. should be on there. Man, I think Ashton Matthews. Out of L.A. He should be on the freshman cover. I ain't never heard of him. We got Ashton Matthews. 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 We got Ash
Brick Flair tonight? No, we're not. No, nah, we don't have any Brick Flair. Why'd you, why'd you bring that up? We listened to it yesterday. <laughs> we need to listen to him today. Well, Who? shit, we got Ashton. We got Vince Staples. We got so many young cats that's bubbling right Los now. Angeles, these guys? Yeah. yeah. Well, shit, honestly, they they not out, they not from L.A. A lot of these cats from Long Beach right yep. now. Long Beach coming with some nice little game bang, oh. thugged out street but, lyrical but, motherfuckers. But to, to prove Babies. a point, all that all that came from was really from Long Beach. All that all that jerk music and the ratchet music that originated in Long Beach, really. And guess where Ty Dolla Sign is from? Long For Beach. Example. The whole Pushes Inc. thing that started with YG, they're lying. from Long Beach. You ain't lying. Recently. And guess who wrote Tooted and Booted? Ty Dolla Sign. Okay, okay, shout okay. out to Ty Dolla Sign. So, I guess okay. he doesn't get the inclusion Pay on the homage. list. Pay homage, okay. That's about it, though. That's ain't nobody it. in the Bay? Paranoid. Oh, oh the shit. Bay? You don't like Sage? <sighs> you see this? I don't know, not really. I'm, I'm more of a I Am Sue fan. My kids fan. love that shit. Oh, I... I, I fucks with, hey, with Six Feet Susie. He got me on I Am Susie. I fucks with, I fuck with I Am Susie too. That whole HBK little crew they yeah. got going on, they they doing a lot of shit. And the, the Bay is full of hustlers, man. Shout out to the Bay. Man. They ain't had no choice. They to grind. Yeah, I don't know. It's something in the water up there. Them niggas will show you they how to They know grind, how to grind. Man. Those motherfuckers is country too. The Bay? Yeah, they country. Yeah. Uh, they just different. Come yeah. on now. When it splits, it's different. All I got to say is think back to Hyphy. Who had Jerry Curls in Cali? Yeah, that's true. That is true. That's true. They didn't have Jerry Curls. They had yeah. br- uh, dreads, nigga. They yeah. had curls. Dreads. Man, dreads. Matter of fact, I seen a dude with Jerry Curl two weeks ago. <laughs> There's, I mean, not like a Jerry Curl. Oh, I got an S Curl. No, Jerry Curl, sh- it touches shoulders. Like, the Lord, the Lord Jesus Curl? Was, not the Lord Jesus Curl. Swing Pearl. it. The Lord Jesus Curl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like, damn. If he just got out or he has been yeah. in a time machine somewhere. Lost was it 1980 Sharpton Pern? Oh. Was it that bad? Hey, who it had the best bad. curl? Not to be off subject. Who had the best curl growing up, you think? Or the perm? Damn. The best curl growing up? Yeah. Long okay, okay. okay. Of, you okay. say Compton niggas. Okay. <laughs> Compton, Compton niggas did have good curls. <laughs> Easy out, of, out of every nigga in the world. He said Compton niggas. Quick. <laughs> Quick had the untouchable curl. The un- curl was Quick had a perm, homie. That was a curl. Quick had Say a perm. perm yeah, Quick had a perm. Nah. Quick, or I did say or perm. In the yeah. first part, of the first album, he had a he had a curl. Life, cool. even yeah. out of the girls, he had the best one. Lifetime. Yeah. Curl. No, no, I'm trying to think. Who had who, who had the best Jerry curl though? Lifetime achievement world. Uh, Michael Jackson. Oh no, For somebody. Curl, go to Michael Jackson. Jackson. Honestly, Smokey Robinson had a good one Michael too. Michael Jackson. These is fictional motherfuckers. Who? The motherfuckers from CB4. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, Gusto has the goddamn CB4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I didn't even want to touch that nigga, man. That nigga, was just, his whole hair was glistening like, he said, he said damn. CB4. He wouldn't even be allowed in my mama's house, nigga. My mom was like, don't let that nigga sit on my couch. Don't you let him sit on the couch. You put a stain on that couch. Horribly saying, nigga. I think that was a problem back in the 80s was yeah, hair care product yeah, stains. Yeah, activator fucked off a lot of couches. That shit broke a lot of relationships, too, like. Right. People, people probably broke up with their husband because his it, curl was too drippy. He <laughs> fucking the sheets up. You know, you know where the happened? plastic came from? Yeah. The couches. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Activated? Nah. Was nah that shit yeah. was a death trap. You could lose pounds on my grandma's couch. It was so you leathery. Fall asleep on that plastic. Yeah, you wake up, bro. <laughs> All I gotta say is, I Why remember growing up. Couch? <laughs> we had a little, little plastic, little fucking mat and shit in our living room. Me and my older brother used to flip that motherfucker upside down when our step pops walked by walk and stairs. little sticky little things and shit on those motherfuckers used to fuck him up so bad. Goddamn furniture was dangerous as fuck back in the day and two badass kids was able to show that shit. <laughs> I don't know how we got on best curl, but y'all just say y'all best curl. Oh, you said Michael. Yeah. Which Michael? Michael Jack- Which Michael? Asian Michael or Black Michael? <laughs> Michael Jackson immediately after the the Pepsi commercial. That was a fake curl then. Cause, a, well, that cause I saw the video. One. His curl. Was a was a good man, one, his curl man. like a wildfire, yeah, like a forest fire. Yeah, it was a good one, really. Was Lifetime good. curl achievement goes to Luther Vandross. Oh, it longest. big Luther. I love Luther. He kept it the longest. Big Luther. Cause Big I'm, Luther had the like the high top shit going on. <laughs> I didn't know that Luther had a curl. Yeah, like, some shit. Yeah, some shit. He had some hits though. I, I don't remember. I don't know. Did yeah, Barry White have a curl? That, that Barry a White was a big pimp motherfucker, so shit I mean, is Barry possible. Hey, a it nigga, is hey, possible. A nigga told me. Hey, a nigga told me Barry curl, White was twins. Curl. I heard that too. <laughs> Barry White is a game member. He, he went to Jefferson High School. 
a story I heard about Barry White said he walked from his house to Capitol Records Verify. to get his record deal. Verify. Verify. Whoa, whoa. Up, what about Ashford? Oh, oh, shit. Shit. oh. <laughs> Hey, you know, okay, and Pete Gay, though. Okay, I have, I was kind of suspect with Ashford for Yeah, I thought that's his sister. Man, I was weird. I was like, whoa, bro. I seen him kiss one one award show. He kissed like, her? He kissed her. That's his wife. For real? Yeah. That's his wife. Man, I didn't know. Man, I wonder, like, how like how much time did that take? But after they come in and do her hair, he got to be next. He's sitting all frustrated. His hair rolling. Like, come on, hurry up. I got a song that I got to rehearse. It was like some real divas backstage. I, don't know. <laughs> I see that in the 70s. Having to keep your hair up with something. After Afro died, they started just laying it that down. Was, that was part of the costumes. Like the rappers, we got, they got their costumes. You got the gold chain. You used to have the gazelles back in the day. Used they braids. used to have Adidas. Then it stepped it up. You know what I mean? You still had to have the gold chain. Then you had to have what? The uh, Air Force Ones. Yeah. But then back you, in the 70s, they had the, the jumpsuit. And like the one gold cross chain and the hairy chest and Jerry curl. Hey, what the? Wait, it's, I don't know why I just fucking thought of this shit. Right. This goddamn Prince album cover. The this motherfucker one? was hey, on. Ba- hey, Pete, no, Prince is my favorite ba- exactly. artist don't of all time. Prince, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna put it out there. Prince, my favorite man. artist of all time, one of the most talented cats Thank ever. You. But this album cover I just saw not too long ago. He had on he a leather jacket, and he had on a black leather, draws. yeah, the little oh, black look. That album was that album was dope though. Man, <laughs> that album was dope though. That album was dope. You had to be a strong man <laughs> to buy that album. Day, to go to the out, go to the record store and buy that album. I want, I want this. <laughs> I want this Prince. Look. Well, I can see his nipple hair. I want that Prince. Like, I'd be like, whoa. Turn upside I, I, down. When we worked at the record store. I'd be like, whoa, bro. You want this one? You want this one? <laughs> <laughs> You sure? Right, you sure? Up, you sure? I saw that shit. And, and what if they cool. ask you, have you listened to it? No. Hell no, I listen to this shit, man. What the dog looks like I listen to this shit? <laughs> Lay but, your ass off. Okay, you did. You bumping that shit like, man. That song number 13 be knocking. That's a good thing to talk about. How end up we all end up, how I met some of you guys was through music stores. And I know, man, you and uh, Levon got a great talk, story yeah, about. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about that. We, okay. we need to talk about something else. Back to another subject. Why do you want to talk about that? Because uh, I don't want to talk about none of that. Clippers and Donald Sterling again. <laughs> you asshole. Clippers and Donald Sterling again. That no. Girlfriend. He no. says he's not a racist. He's no. Jewish. Are you serious? That posted. That posted like a race. He said he I hate was to just say saying this. that. He's just saying that so he can get it. I have there. a lot of Jewish friends. A lot of Jewish people looked out for me growing up. And I still have a lot of Jewish friends. But a lot of you niggas is racist. You got Jewish friends? I did growing up. Oh, shit. Yeah, Alex was right. I, got, I, got oh. I ain't going to put him out there. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I was you said there. still. I'm like, damn. Well, I ain't never I met do. Well. You oh. need to meet him. I can't show them to my black. I can't show them a black. Oh, man. you see how that goes? Like, hey, I respect on, that, man. though. That, that's saying. cold. Rule number I'm one. real about it. Rule number one. Don't Shh. expose all your friends to your black friends. <laughs> <laughs> you may not have them tomorrow. Have them. And don't expose your black friends to your white friends. Ease them niggas in. Ease them in. Ease Trust them. Me. Slide. Slide them hey, in. That's you, going, may, you may lose the contact. You that's going lose, in the book. That's going in the book. That's rule number 30. I'm telling you, man. You want to <laughs> succeed in America. Well, well, since you cut off our meeting topic, you go away with the Donald Sterling. Okay, Donald down? Sterling, man. Uh, I was watching the news. I think it was like Tuesday morning because I live in L.A. I'm living... Um, I'm looking at this, the the news, right? And they do they waiting for his ex girlfriend. I don't know if she's current, but I think she's his ex now. The bitch would have been my ex. The Avatar looking chick. Yeah, Avatar. Okay. They waiting for her to come out the house. But as they waiting for her to come out Corrupt the house, corrupt comes out. No, oh, no. <laughs> Somebody else came out. <laughs> <laughs> Did nobody come out the house yet? Uh, the bitch got the bitch living in a two in a duplex. Not to call her a bitch, but the girl lives in a duplex. A whoa, duplex. whoa! Out of all people you call, you didn't want to call a bitch. Why you didn't want to call her? Because I have listeners. Uh, my, oh. my daughter may be listening. You know what I mean? I can't. I can't. Come on, man. Okay. Be correct. It may, it may slip, but I'll answer for that later. All right. But she lives in a duplex. But in the driveway. Guess what's in the driveway? Benz. Which car? A little higher. Uh, how, exa- which, which car? car? Yeah, exactly. Which car? <laughs> which car? Cars. How many, how many cars she had? Dose. Yeah. I guess she had Quattro. She got. I only seen two. In the footage, I only seen two. Guess what they are? What? Sh- shiny chrome. Cherry red, cherry red Ferrari. Guess what's in front of that? Damn. I say Cayenne. Hell no. Nah. The car note is a Cayenne. What the f- Come on. She man. had a Bentley. There you go. Damn. And she guess was, where she got him from? She must got that fire though. She must got that. Never. That, that, she, she must have. He eighty. Him. She must got that fire. No. 
He the only one she can get. I mean, he, she don't. Even, come on, man. Man, you 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 eighty years old with a billionaire. You can get anybody you want to. He probably horrible with his shirt off, homie. Hey, Ugh. like I'm just saying, you know, money money changes all that. <laughs> he probably the sexiest motherfucker in the world to her ass. Cause horrible. They come with a Bentley sex. A girl with no self esteem. Hey. No standards. That, this is just horrible, bro. It's horrible. Well, her boyfriend, her, her boyfriend's living it up. He enjoying some See, of that stuff. That's why we're gonna go to sports now. We still in sports right now. That's why we're gonna go to this Mr. Um, the dude from Missouri. I don't know his name. His last name Sam. Michael Sam. Oh yeah, no, Mr. Sam, right? Taking that's, my headphones off. That's why. Y'all. Why you wanna take your headphones? Because I don't wanna go. We don't why? Have why you need to go there? Okay, we him. We all three of us had discussions. Y'all to go there. Real talk, man. Uh, me and my uh, kids was watching it, and um. Before I allowed him to see that, I was like, whoa, cover the eyes up real quick. Cover their eyes up real quick. I don't want them seeing that. They don't need to be seeing that. The image needs to come from home. They, they, they influences need to come from home. And I don't think ESPN, that tongue wrestling with another man, that don't need to be broadcast, man. Yeah, I, I love wrestling. ESPN. I love ESPN. That's like, I watch that shit more than I probably look at my girl. Life I mean, though. I love ESPN. What? Life, though. It's life. Life. I have something to add to that. If that was your son, would you be allowing that? What do you mean? Michael Sam was your son. I'm, I'm gonna allow him to do something. Would you allow to get that far? He, <laughs> he would grown, He a grown NFL fully prepared man. He's still your kid, nigga. <laughs> hey, what I would say? What I would say? I don't, I don't approve. He was like, all right, Dale, make these millions. Yeah, me and Brad, we'll be happy <laughs> together. You're horrible, man. Yeah. I got a little hey, something to add to that, they though. I got to hear this. They chose they this, this is how I look at it. I grew up. I saw people smoke rocks. <laughs> Ask me if I ever smoke a, smoked a rock. Have you ever smoked True. a rock? No, I haven't smoked a rock. <laughs> just to put that out there. Thank okay. you, Gio, for asking that. Just to clarify that up. <laughs> There's a bunch of other fucked up shit I saw growing up that didn't influence me to to do certain things. Like, I look like this. No offense to the big girls out there, but I'm a small dude and I like petite women. That's not my thing. So, big <laughs> like, girl ain't got no chance with you. Nah, I'm good. Okay, okay. I'm 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 good. That's <laughs> that's not my thing. You but do at least thing. once in your life. Just, but everybody got one big girl. <laughs> I'm not turning right. off the TV. That's a whole, that's a whole other story. <laughs> a whole other show. Back I'm not Mr. turning Sam. off the TV because I see some dude with a big chick. Even though that's not my thing. Now, man, they not my thing either. <laughs> but I don't care what somebody do. What okay, a grown okay. man do. You play for you play for the St. Louis Rams, right? Yeah. He just got drafted to your team. Yeah. Okay. Y'all go in the shower. Oh, let's go yeah. in the showers. Break. Let's go in the showers. Who right? goes in the shower like that? I don't know. I never played sports before. Yeah, I never played sports before. I ain't never. I ain't never. They they it ain't like, like a parade. Game. But don't y'all all go in the showers? Hey, let's go in the shower. My coach used to be mad at me. Real talk. I never took the shower at, at the locker room. I, I was like, home, I'm going home. I'm going school. I was like, yeah. It was only twelve people on the basketball team. So I was really looked at like, damn, what's wrong with the sneakers? He's a superstar, that's why. I mean, that's nothing to do with it. <laughs> nothing to do with it. But are you willing to take a shower with this man? Yeah. I don't care about that. Wait wait a second. Why but, don't you care about that? But there's a little history behind that. I'll put it like this. I was in the Marine Corps. Boot camp had 80 people. We had to shower with every single solitary day. Was dudes gay? Hell yeah, they was gay in boot camp. You knew who was gay in Iraq. We was deployed with gay dudes. Guess what? Did you stay away from them? No, I don't care. They ain't trying to grab my cheeks. We good. Did you ever high five the known gay other people? In yeah. The yeah, they get love from me. You I'm said cool. High, you said high five. I'm just what, did you, what did you call them? I'll give you a motherfucker a hug. Known gay Shit. people in the military. What, what else did I call them? No, wait a second. Gay people were allowed. They just couldn't say they were gay. But don't ask, don't no, ask tell. no tell. That shit is that shit is a thing of the past, which is a good thing. <laughs> There's a lot of gay people in the military. I'll be seeing them at bars. I'll be like, yeah, they some gay ass. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just saying. I'll be seeing how they do their camaraderie. What like, bars you go to, man? I'm just saying when I was young growing <laughs> up. Oh. <laughs> Black people. Black people don't go to no bars. <laughs> oh, no. No, speaking of bars, that brings another story. Time we went to that one bar in the barrio. Oh, we my went, God. Went on a quest for some Coronas, we ended up know. in a Paisa bar. That like, was amazing. It was 15 people, and two of them were black. We were saying. Both of them were together. But it, it felt real, I felt a lot of shade when I went up in there. They had their drum set in the back, and you knew that 
The they had a come girl on the pool table, but she wasn't like mo- dancing or nothing. She was just like standing. I'm like, what's <laughs> going on, man? I just had one they question. Watching soccer on an old big screen. I never forget. What city were school? y'all in? Gardena. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> right, but right now it's your, your mama's house. We left your house one day. Oh fuck Leave yeah! We got out the Gardena. We got out of there safe. <laughs> nah. We didn't, we didn't stay that long. That's why. <laughs> Yo, what was the name of the bar across the street from my mama's house when she lived in Compton? I don't know. Right there on the 127th of May. Oh no, I, the family affair. The family affair. No, it was like called the family room the or fam- something. It, it means the family don't go room. There. It means yeah. don't go there. So, Certain bars you shouldn't go to. Yeah, that's one of them. Who is this in the background? This is Vic. This, this, this is Vic. The freshman class. We can get a chance to talk about him. him. This is Chicago him. cast. Let's hear him. You shot right. Let's hear him. We running out of time, though. We got. We running out of time. Yeah, we still got 15 minutes for these niggas. Oh, that's what's up. We got yeah. 15 minutes left. Stay with me. You see, this is the thing I love, though. A lot of times, hip hop seems to self-correct itself. You got Chief Keef, you got the little dirts, but they also breed this. Also, it gave us Vic Mensa, some little soulful, little smooth shit. Dudes talking about shit. So anybody out there hysteric and shit over the direction of hip hop, trust me, it all comes around full circle. True, true. That is I true. I second that. I second that. Hip hop I mean, is not dead. No, not at all. I don't think it ever died. I think people that use that as a statement. To try and make it something like what they're making is new hip hop, which is the same hip hop as before. Radio hip hop has died. No, motherfuckers is lazy. That's no, it. It's a mode they fit into, and you fit the mode, like the whole Chirac drill music. That's going to be a mode for at least two more years. Power so 106 gonna... is pump your fist music. And what is they think? Uh, R&B and hip hop. R&B and hip hop. But I don't hear no. Damn, I would hear. I hear a lot of R&B, but I hear a majority of that techno EDM. Yeah, I noticed that too. Pump but your fist. Power 106 was like that back in the day, in the early 90s. With, with, what the fuck Richard was his name? Uh, Richard Humpty Vision. On Sunday. Oh, yeah. Goddamn Richard Humpty Vision. That's that that's house music. They had house music back in the day. I yeah. couldn't do it. What? But you yeah. know about house music being from Chicago. Yeah, it came around the same time. Hip-hop yeah. Came up. Fuck him. Oh, and yeah. hey, just want to put it out there. Rest in peace. DJ Rashad passed away a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Everybody thought it was had something to do with drugs, but he had a blood clot and just... Young cat, he was in his mid thirties, passed away. Yeah, I ain't know about that. Oh, All middle aged Chicago was mourned that day. Yeah, and DJ Rashad, he was a legend in the little house scene. Oh, he's a house DJ. And they also lost, I think his name was Frankie Knuckles. I think that was his name. Yeah, my dad, a big Frankie Knuckles fan. He said there was only two people to do a house when it came to house music in Chicago. It was two people, Frankie Knuckles and his other guy. And everybody loved Frankie because he did more. So big up Frankie. I never. I gotta check Frankie Knuckles out. Yeah, he, music out. he's a cat in his 50s. He ended up passing. He passed about a month or so ago. Mm-hmm. He the person that coined the name House because he, oh. he had a club called The Warehouse. And he used to do Going his little there, thing. How, as they call housing. Yeah. Where housing came from. And he coined the name House Music. So Frankie Knuckles, another dude from Chicago. But base, I work at a record store right now. And just over the years, I've learned a lot about music. And trust me, a lot of stuff that that's seen as like white music and black music it ain't always been like that shit think of where rock and roll came from don't tell them th- don't don't tell them too much don't tell hey. them too much <laughs> they ain't ready for that that's on next that's on next year but back, i mean next, next uh, year. show next show but uh Sign back to that double xl list can you know the other people on the list you know the names off the bat i know most of them uh, name, name can you fill in the blanks from Name some. I don't know. I don't know the people. No, on the I list. think we are gonna pass on that. No, because I want to name the people who should have been on the list. Just name them then. I think Starlito. Starlito. You, you said Dolph. Starlito and Dolph. Both of them. Yeah. I ain't never heard not one young Dolph song. I never. fuck with Starlito though. Dolph is a shit. We got Dolph. What's, Autumn, what's Autumn, song Autumn, Autumn little to scooters. Little Money little calling. Dolph. You know about Dolph? It's Dolph. Little scooters Dolph. you thought you was listening to. It's, it's really Dolph. Dolph. Really Dolph. Is Dolph about like eight foot tall? Nah, Real black. Really. Yeah. Yeah. He that's right, Dolph. Tall, is he? he looked tall. Uh, what you <laughs> what you tall and skinny and real dark skin? You look tall. I anyway. don't know what the nigga look like, but the nigga hard on the mic. Sounds like you're hard. <laughs> Whatever Dolph I downloaded, that wasn't no one. Was he an Atlanta nigga? <laughs> nah, he's no, from uh, 
South Memphis. South Tennessee. Memphis. See, Tennessee got, man. T- oh, I sure was out in Tennessee. We just said that yeah, earlier. It's a lot of shit. Chat Juicy Town. J. Chat Town. Juicy, Juicy J. J from Tennessee. I fucks with Juicy J. And Project, my favorite rapper from. Project Pata. <laughs> North North. Project <laughs> Pata. <laughs> Project Pat. Oh, my God. This boy like Project I'll Pat. give a fuck. <laughs> hey, that Getty Green. Hey, shout out to Project Pat, though. That's, That's a real motherfucker. He's a real shit. nigga right there. That's a real nigga. Who are these light skin niggas? I see a light skin nigga. <laughs> Who is that on double XL cover? I see light skin niggas. Yeah, it's a bunch of light skin dudes. All on light skin. Chance, Rich Homie. Oh, I've forgotten. He just had a seizure a couple of days ago. Stay Who? away from that lane. Rich Stay Homie Kwan. Yeah, Kwan. Rich Homie. Who this in the background know? right here? Where? Who you listen to? That's probably still Vic. Still Vic? Yep, that's Vic Mensa. Told you. What's his name again? Vic, Vic Mensa. Come out of Chicago. Oh, he's like 19 years Y'all old. Y'all listen to that thing, man. Oh, he, he made that one song, Orange Soda. I put that shit on, he was like, oh, no. Nah, I'm, I'm good. 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 Yeah, but I just, I like promoting good hip hop. That's all. That's all. What about this Kevin Gates guy? I don't know. Kevin Gates? Left him out. I don't know about that. He's a New Orleans cat. He's been doing a lot of music over the past couple of years, but to me, it, there's nothing really special about him. It's like a fiend, like a fiend somewhat. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that new artist. That's all. That new artist to, to grab the torch and just lead lead the movement into something. That's I think all. we already got him. Who? Who? Kendrick. You think so? Because hey, he's still on his first yeah, album. Don't look at me like that, nigga. You called him King Kendrick. Yeah. He's well, on his throne from New York City. His second album has been um the title's been released already. Oh what yeah, is the it? title. What's it called? That was uh, a fake. That was a fake one? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we won't reveal that <laughs> shit. Not at all. Uh, <laughs> not on New Rules Radio. We would not Because they came out that. smashing on people and all type of reputable, quote unquote reputable sites had to quickly delete that shit. Oh. So is he, is that he part of, it. okay, is that part of the four albums that are coming out this year on the TDE? I think it said six albums. Six albums? Yeah. They've already had two. Sylvia, Scissor. Ab Soul is next. Yep, then J Rock. And then J Rock. Who's the two? Isaiah Rashad and SZA. And SZA. They've already three. had two. Get three from. Q. Q, nigga. Oh, that's okay. right. Schoolboy three. Q. Q. Okay. Those are albums. Three. Those are albums. <laughs> See, this, this a thing with TDE. If you <laughs> notice, they, they do haven't done tapes. a mixtape in I don't know how long. So that Rashad was an album? Yeah. yeah that, that shit was for sale. You can sale. get that on iTunes. <laughs> iTunes. That, that shit was for sale. And it, and it makes sense. Why are you laughing at it? You don't like it? No, I don't say it was on sale. Like, I guess. Hip hop is the only genre of music where you expect it to give away free shit. That's true. You don't get free rock and roll mixtapes. <laughs> you, you don't see Nirvana do, oh, we got a free mix. When Taylor free, Swift, free, free mix. <laughs> when Taylor Swift ever do a mixtape? When Rihanna ever do a mixtape? That'd be, some, hey, that'd be some cold shit if Celine Dion did a mixtape. She you know, might never do a mixtape. With DJ Drama. With DJ Drama. A Gangsta Ooh. Grills. <laughs> Beyonce did a mixtape. With who? With who? When? No, it wasn't a mixtape. It was a uh, prize release. False. What the Which people had to pay for. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> and she did that shit perfect. She dropped that shit right after Scandal. On Christmas, so, man. So Ladies. shit, she had women Ladies. up in arms rushing to their computers I'm to download that shit. Google and watermelon. <laughs> Here you go with that. <laughs> Poor Beyonce. She Poor, be right. she'll, be, be right. she'll be perfectly fine. That album sold the hell out. <laughs> she'll, she'll want to tour with Jay. The only thing that's fucked up, a man can't say surfboard no more. You can't even say surfboard in passing. You, you can't, can't say a lot of that song. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you just can't do that, man. When I say surfboard, I ain't talking about fucking nobody in no tub. So shit. <laughs> well, shit, I can't surf anyway, so I ain't using the word at all. <laughs> so I shit. Ain't using the word at all. My that motherfucking ass can't swim. So shit. That was you not could... high on my words. <laughs> <laughs> my words list. I didn't know what the hell surfboard was until like two months after the song. I was like, what? That is. Are you serious? I saw an Instagram picture and explained to me, and I was like, shit. That's what it is. Hey. All of us got pool tubs in our in our house and they ain't pools so two people can't fit in that motherfucking nine times out of ten not in mine and some chick singers <laughs> sing they surfboard and can't even swim and she just kept going that's horrible i ain't took the a water. bath in years i sound i sounded all bad <laughs> ah, shit. Nah, sh- <laughs> been, a sh- been taking showers since he was 19 <laughs> exactly shit the, I, ain't, I ain't fucking around with no tub you got shit. the dirt all on your back <laughs> man they supposed to take fuck fuck a tub I can't, even, that. I can't even fit in a tub anyway. My, my legs hang out. So doesn't matter. So ain't no surfboard. Shit. Hey, surfboard shit, bitch. Get your, get your boogie board, bitch, and ride the wave. Can't be no surfboard in my way. 
He ain't got no tub. Hey. <laughs> That's crazy. Some of these chicks can't even swim in real water. How you go swim in the bathtub? Uh, it's just amazing. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> They'll try. Be that, be that shit with clothes, floaties and shit on. How is there a way? Structure you gonna allow a girl lead you to your bathroom for a Mimi moment? Hey, shit. Depending, yeah, I would. I'm gonna be honest. I, shit, no, I, I don't know, follow a motherfucker anywhere. I know anywhere. for one thing, my shark ain't that strong. That is not on me. <laughs> Hey, shit, I ain't gonna fall on her ass, like, shit. if she fall, that's not on me. Both y'all gonna fall. I'm a little shit. motherfucker, so shit, if a chick expect me to hold her up for a couple of minutes, she gonna oh, get, no, see, I just she gonna gonna get her own motherfucking surprise. From the mini to the I, surfboard. It's gonna be a big girl to get you, and you gonna be hanging on the shower curtain. That's, that's, how, that's how it works for y'all. You get a big weird. girl. It's gonna be the weird, weird I already weird, dropped weird. the girl on her face before. <laughs> how did you do that for? <laughs> In the bathroom? How you do that? She was, I was, she was on my back, and then I said, wait a minute, let me adjust you. I adjusted her. She what the hell was she doing? So, 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 so I'm guessing y'all wasn't having sex when she, she was, was back. drunk. Yeah. She was drunk. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Let's go back okay. to that has nothing to do with what we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we Face thought first. you. Were, yeah, we thought you were talking about. Like, <laughs> I. <laughs> yeah, I think about in the moment you got to run the face oh. like that. My shit on my back. I should go on your back. What the hell y'all doing? I've never seen that position before. I've never seen that position before. I was like, wow. I was trying to roll the backpack. It's the backpack. The backpack. I was trying to think, like visualize that shit. I thought too, like, why is she on his back? Probably got his finger in her mouth. Like, ah, you like this? You like this? Like, man. Real, real turn up session. Real man. turn real up session. Real frat boy ass session. <laughs> okay, what were you talking about, Lee? Back I really have no motherfucking idea. <laughs> like, at least you're honest. Yeah, you're I do know man. shit. A motherfucker can lead me anywhere depending on where that shit is going. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> nah. Eh. Exactly. I disagree with that. You know what I mean? Well, we're almost out of here. Thank you know what time it is. Yeah, we need these y'all motherfuckers it, to come in next week, man. Listen with us, man. We got some more shit to come in. No, we don't, no we're going to do the more. We're going to give away some shit next week. So yeah, stay tuned. Yeah. We're going to give away some shit. We got some books. We can get some, some books. Got, got some t-shirts. shirts. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll get some shit away got next week. Got some t-shirts, socks, and drawers for y'all asses. Yeah, where well, you get drawers from? You I don't know. It. I'm just saying. You know, niggas need it. The sass of these niggas yeah, needs. Niggas need it, man. So what's the tip for the, the fan listeners out? Oh, never forget. Two things never forget at the house. Never forget your driver's license and never forget your weed. <laughs> Please don't do that. If you're doing that, you already <laughs> fucking up. That's rule number one. He forgot both. No rule. Uh, yes, uh, yes, I forgot both of them. Had a horrible day yesterday. <laughs> Y'all need want to know the millions of times I've been out with this motherfucker and his ass ain't got no ID. And I'm it's like shit. That. We got to sit in the car or drive all the way back home. Yeah, you just can't get I sat in the car a few times. Yeah, you I have. I sat in the car a few times. And I kind of felt bad the first couple no, of minutes, didn't. but shit. <laughs> I done left the nigga. Man. Exactly. He didn't. <laughs> I'm hungry. That's so bad, nigga. That's so bad. <laughs> Are you going to bring something out? <laughs> I, got, I got you. I got you. You sure you want to bring something out? I don't know, man. My, my, my uh, shit, lesson of the week is uh, if y'all ever watch Pulp Fiction, which I hope y'all watch. Watch the wolf character. That nigga get shit done, man. Left and right, man. That nigga get shit done. Don't be that person this week who don't get shit done, man. Don't be the lazy motherfucker in the crew. Don't be the nigga who they talk about on Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday. Don't be the corn on the foot of success. Good analogy. <laughs> <laughs> don't be the bunion on, life, on life's foot. Yeah. And at the end of the day, just think about it, man. You just getting started. Stay grinding, man. Stay grinding. What you gotta say, G? At least you're honest. <laughs> what you gotta say, Lee? You got some shit to say? You, Wear y'all nah. motherfucking helmets. If y'all riding these bikes, if y'all riding scooters, whatever. I saw some crazy shit at my house. <laughs> Somebody T-boned a car. Damn, on a scooter though. On a scooter, T-boned shit. a car. Just hey, his girl had a helmet. She she was shaking up. She was good. Dude didn't have no helmet on. Shit, it's dicey. So it's, shit, it's where, dicey. where y'all shit? Real shit. I ride my bike all the time. I'm out there with no helmet. After that, I saw that shit. Never again. <laughs> you know what's crazy? What? I thought Lee was talking about sexual things. I really thought he was talking about like condoms. What the, uh, what the, what the, what the uh, gold uh, shit called Magnus? This nigga helmets, really talking about a bicycle. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You just got onto that? He said, oh, just, he said he T-bone the scooter. Like, he con- like, yeah, nigga. Yeah, oh, way shit. Oh, shit. Oh, man, well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you got confused that. He talking about the back, letting girls backpacking. I don't know, but happy Mother's Day, man. I'd have to get on such Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. 
You yeah. like, y'all get some shout outs? Are like, you want an award? No, just the hunt is always better when your queen is just as hungry as you are, man. Real talk, man. Shout out to mine. Everything will be all good. Shout out to my kids. Got a newborn. You know what I mean? It's just a blessing. God is good. There you go. I'm single. Fuck that. I'm good. It's, it, it, it's Mother's Day. <laughs> nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you? Classified ass. Look, I'm single. Well, Levon's single. I'll let him on Instagram. This ain't goddamn yeah. Facebook. Hey, I'm good. I don't like it. I'm good. <laughs> I love kids. I'm trying to be a Father's Day for this year. This year's Father's Day, Burst. so I'm taking an application at hashtag, Nicholas Cage. Hashtag. Hashtag. Thirst. I'll be your baby mama. Thirst. Thirst is real. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess we're out. On that note, we're gonna wrap it up, guys. Great having y'all again this week. Thank Hope you, to see man. all y'all next week. El Provador, the supply, K. Okay. Dog oh, shit. Lee. Oh yeah, Gio De Niro saying happy got the pill day. All the way down. Damn it! This was last time I said shit like that. You, ass, you assholes, oh, nigga. I'm nigga. This case. This is New Rules Radio. Thank y'all for joining us on Sunday. Ah. Happy, happy Mother's Day again. Bye, everybody. Love you, niggas. I think love is beautiful too. Building forts from broken dams. What a Hoover can do for future. Ruger shooting through the empty alley. Could've threw him an alley oop. Helping them do good in school.